and everything that you see, their costumes, the decorations, it was all these girls. Yeah, they're fantastic. It's a great group of kids. So, they are, they are very excited to share this with all of you. So on behalf of Troop AZ1226, thank you for coming. What we're going to do is we have um, our priest here at St. Stephen's. Uh, Father Joe was able to join us this evening, so he's going to start us off with opening prayer before we get started. Good evening, friends and families of uh, St. Stephen's. Uh, it's an honor and privilege for me to come and uh, to be with all of you and uh, definitely the prayer, the best prayer we always have is the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Before that, I just wanted to acknowledge uh, this is the first of its kind as far as I'm concerned, but this is American Heritage Girls too. The number is already said, AC1226. And um, there will be a lot of spontaneity as I heard from her mouth. Uh, there will be some originality. And it will be wonderful. Definitely, we let's look forward to it. There will be suspense, there will be excitement, there will be lots of food. And we uh, wish them all the best and uh, God's blessing, God's speed, and all those who are behind uh, uh, making this day. Of course, everything was being organized by the little girls, little as well as uh, all the people, they have contributed their share. Let's be um, joining them in the wonderful cooperation and spirit. Let them do all the best and let's be the recipients of all their time and talent and all the blessings that they are going to present before us. Having said this, we come to my, my uh, responsibility. Lord Jesus, you have brought us all together in your name. We experience that, you know, I'm being told that the place is already blessed with the holy water <coughs> by the people concerned. And uh, I also want to acknowledge the Lord Jesus is very much here, alive and active in our midst. 
that is called to eternal Father through the prayer that Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we are not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you very much, people, as well as uh, the, those who are the performers, and on behalf of our uh, pastor, Father Wilfred Gina, and uh, on my own behalf, I welcome everyone and uh, the crew. All right, thank you so much, Father. All right, so let's get <laughs> Thank you. 
What's wrong, sweetie? Um, oh, Annie, don't give up hope. Jesus wants you to keep your light shining bright. You just have to be positive. Don't let your light go out, and don't let what others say bring you down. Are you my fairy godmother? Even better, Annie. I'm your guardian angel. You can't always see me, but I'm always here for you. And I want you to know something. What? You have a light inside of you. Your own special light. And when you let that light shine, it makes you feel very happy. My light is inside me. How are people supposed to see it? You just have to be kind and loving, just like Jesus. <laughs>
lesson planned, we are going to learn about letting our light shine. First, I need a volunteer to read our Bible passage for today. Grace, you'll do it. Come on up and read this right here from the book of Matthew. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they might see your good deeds, and glorify your Father in heaven. Thank you so much, Grace. That was lovely. Okay, class. So today's Bible verse comes from a part of the Gospel where Jesus is teaching his followers. He starts off by telling them, and us, because we're also his followers, that we are the light of the world. Then he tells us, that a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Does anyone have any idea why that might be? If we had a light in this window, do you think we could see that light from far away? Yeah. I think so. I think we have a lamp. Do we usually light a lamp and then cover it up? No. no, of course not. That would be silly. We want the lamp to shine and give light to the whole room. In the same way, Jesus tells us that we each are a light, and he wants to let that light shine for others so that we light up the whole world. Think about it this way. Okay, everyone stand up and cup your hands like this. If we each had a candle in our hands right now, we would see a lot of light, wouldn't we? But if we cover up the candlelight, then the room becomes dark, and we can't see the light anymore. Jesus wants us to let our light shine so that we can give light to the whole world. Okay, class. So go ahead and sit back down. Does anyone have any ideas about how we can let our light shine? Yes. Sharing. Sharing is a great example. You can smile. Smiling is a great way to let your light shine. Be kind. That's a good example, yes. Be nice to others. Being nice to others. Treating people honest. Yes. Being honest. These are great ideas. Elizabeth, do you have any ideas? Um, no. <laughs> That's okay. All right, class. So we are going to go do a craft. But first, I need a volunteer to lead us in prayer. Elizabeth, would you like to do it? No. That's okay. All right, Mary. Beautiful dreams. Come on up. There you go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear God, we ask you to be with us and help us shine our light so we may light up the whole world. We ask you to help us share the light of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Very good, Mary. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Let's go do our craft now. Oh, 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 oh,
Sorry for being such a grumbler. You're right, Annie. We just need to let our light shine. I told you so! <laughs> Can you guys forgive me? Of course. Hey, Martha, is it something? Isn't there something you want to say? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm sorry too. Please we forgive you. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Many people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to the whole house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven.
have Miss Danny and Miss Teresa and Miss Liliana and Mr. Matt and Mr. Dennis and well, oh, Mr. Brian back there and Miss Wanda and Mr. Cordy. And <laughs> Just say. Oh, and Miss Kitty. Sorry. Okay, we're back to Miss Kitty and Miss Marie. We have all of our volunteers. We are so grateful for all of your help. Joe to come up and close us in prayer. We'd like to have everyone come back, all the girls come back up on stage, please. They don't know they're doing this. So. <laughs> come on. We have a present for you guys. You guys did so good. Go ahead and line up. You see Miss Black over there? All right, Miss Black. Some of you may or may not know. The time that we have spent was indeed a quality time, a moment, a few moments for uh, a spiritual atmosphere, and uh, we were all, um, you know, taken up by the original, with the originality and spontaneity of the children. Two adjectives I said, and uh, we are very proud of all those who came to the stage and did their best on behalf of uh, American Heritage Girls Group. And uh, all the leaders, once again, I wanted to appreciate for taking the initiative to see that uh, their talents are being brought about. And the uh, message was definitely clear. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And all those who follow will never walk in darkness and let our, um, you know, that witnessing be uh, always like lights and uh, reach out into the lives of uh, everyone. After a few years, especially these little children, you never know where they will be. Uh, witnessing for Christ Jesus are true lights, and uh, let us be uh, looking forward to the bright future and uh, enlighten the hearts and minds of all who come by their lives. God bless each one of you. And once again, thank you so much. Uh, and with that, I just wanted to say, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the beginning, he is now and the world of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 